All right, everybody, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Now it's time to get back to work on the things that really matter. First off, I have to say that uh, I have to apologize to my subscribers for kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, the bullshit between me and Terry. Uh, I know it's a lot of people don't want it in their feeds. A lot of people don't care about it. A lot of people think that uh, it's childish and everything else. I do have a legit reason to be the way I am as far as you know having to deal with Terry and some of the things that I've been hearing and everything else that's been going on. Um, you know, I did not think about uh, my subscribers as far as how you know this is going to be in their feeds and and shit like that so i have to apologize to those guys and uh you know let them know that yeah you know this is pretty much a childish thing and uh uh you know i can't promise that i won't say anything about this person again but i could sure try not to the point that i had to get across pretty much has been made and uh yeah, you guys be the judge. So let's get back to work. All right, so what I'm going to be working on right now is to get these fret ends nice and smooth so they're not going to be, you know, there's no sharp edges or anything on them. There's a very minimum sharp edges on them, but I can get rid of some of that or a lot of it. And what I'm using here is a, it's a tool from Stumac, and basically it's just this real tiny file. you got one side that's flat with no... Uh, cutting material on one side of it and then you have one side that's rounded with no cutting material on it and you have a flat side here that has uh, the cutting and then this side here has cutting so basically what I'm doing is just going using the rounded side so it rides the fretboard and just kind of going over the corners around the edges you know getting rid of whatever's on the fret that could possibly be sharp. Now I already got one side done. This side's already done. It feels pretty good. So now I gotta work on this side. And I'm basically just rounding it off. Making sure that there's nothing there going back if I have to go back and check it some more or file it some more. Now, as you can see, the nut's in place. Now, the nut is locked in, and I can get it out if I want to, but what I ended up doing is I'm using the nut that came with the guitar, and I'm thinking maybe that they had the uh, the groove cut too much on angle going down that way, and that's what was giving me the sitar sound. So what I ended up doing is I have a piece of wood here, and this is basically a vene uh, uh, veneer, and... Uh, what I'm going to do is put it inside there, which I did, raise up the nut a little bit so now I have some to work with to fix the correct the nut that was on there. Now, it's good to use this stuff as a ship. I mean, this stuff is like really, really thin. I would say that this is probably like, like 12,000 thickness, maybe a little bit less. But it works out pretty good for what I needed it for. Like I said, I just want to raise this up a little bit and be able to have something to work with as far as the original nut goes. The original nut on this is a bone nut. I did angle the inside over here. So when I want the strings to go in there, it'll come up on an angle instead of hitting a sharp edge, which I think that I had something to do with it too as far as the noise was going on. So once I get the strings on the guitar, and get my neck where I want it, action height and everything where I want it, then I'll start working on the action height at the first fret. This is why I raised this up so I have something to work with. So I'm going to continue to get the uh, frets done and uh, basically it's pretty simple. I'm using one finger to guide the file. As I'm doing this, 
a little harder to do this around the camera. I'm not putting any pressure on the fretboard, but I am putting a little pressure on the side of the fret itself. So there you go. That's three of them done right now, and they feel feel real nice. So all right, I'm going to continue to do this, and get this done. So this is a little bit more of an update on the George's NK. You guys rock on.